so somehow that message id is not uh, matching there i'll show those uh, in next tutorial in the in, in later um, what is the reason why this message id is not matching otherwise this must match with the message id okay and now successfully we have sent an email and uh, one more thing i would like to show you here let's design this uh, email okay so let's design that email so here okay let's design this in html so for that what we can do we are following this loosely and i would like to copy this okay html so this part just copy this part and paste this part here now this is html and just send it okay so the test send has been pressed and it will send message message has been successfully sent now let's check here here see sleep well amazon ses test sdk for python this email was sent to amazon ses using aws sdk for python boot python boot to 3 okay and if i keep it into let's say into the update then you will be able to click that um, now this link okay this link must be enabled otherwise it went into spam that's why this link was not enabled so for removing uh, from the spam what you can do you can add your email add your own email there add your own email there that's mean uh, here you need to put your own email okay in email address identities and verify that email then uh, it must not show any you know uh, such as uh, email is not uh, verified or email uh, uh, email will not classified as a spam so let me copy this email and what i can do one more time i can just close this and uh, then i can uh, put that email here into sender okay this from email so let's save it once you save it now the email will be sent from my email address to my email address itself okay so let's send this email to my email address press test send and just wait for a few seconds it will successfully send that email now the email has been successfully sent to my email address now let's verify that email here see now this email did not go into spam so this is the area where you need to put and this is the test email from kgp talkie this email was sent from me itself to me itself okay and one more thing i would like to show you here suppose that if you send an email from non verified email let's see this one info at the rate sleepwell dot tech is not verified email it is not attached in our my yes yes uh, email addresses see here there is no info at the rate sleepwell dot tech now let's see what will happen if you send an email from non verified email here test send and see here it is still sending an email and wait for a few seconds just this must not send an email okay i'm not sure how um, it has shown that the email has been sent otherwise info at the rate sleep well dot tech is not very oh sorry actually what happened mm. here we need to make change right otherwise it was not taking that now okay otherwise it sent the previous email from my email itself see here it sent previous email from my email itself so now it will take actual from email and uh, now i would like to send that email to my email address now it must show an error here that means email is not verified something like that once again it has shown that email has been sent that's mean i might have not saved this i have already saved this then why this is sending an email oh this email has been sent from sleepwell at the sleep tech let's send this email from info at the sleepwell dot tech and see here 
this must show here error i want to i want to see that error here once again this email has been sent that's strange that's really strange let's see whether we have got two email or not so this is one email which we have got from sleepwell at the tech and from his spam do we get oh my god we have got an email from here okay i have got this information why we are getting information from info at the rate sorry why we have uh, we are getting a message from info at the rate sleepwell.tech because we have verified this domain sleepwell.tech that's mean we have verified this domain once you have verified the domain then you do not need to verify any email address actually here that's mean we have verified uh, a domain here sleepwell.tech that means an any email address from sleepwell.tech will be automatically considered as a verified email address that mean you will be able to send an email from any email from here sleepwell.tech okay and let me show you uh, that error if you will try to send an email from any non verified email let's see here put uh, example at the rate example.com so this is an well uh, a valid email and let's send an email from here then see what will happen okay it doesn't matter there now this must show an error here yes so this shows that error email address is not verified the following identity placed to check the re in region us east one example at the rate example dot com that's mean any email address from which you want to send you need to verify either that email address or the domain from which that email address is attached now one more thing i would like to add here in this ui suppose that if you are say if you are sending an email and if you have successfully sent an email then there must be some label here which will show that you have successfully sent an email or there must be an some label which will show that uh, your email has been not sent okay like in our uh, in our in original application here okay i'll show you in our original application so let's close this first once we close that then i'll show you in our original application we have here you know we have here a label the label is test email verify okay so what we can do this label test email verify and then we need to get a reference to test this uh, label okay test email verify so just add that label here okay in the middle just uh, remove that label here test email verify now get the reference of this test just save it control and s now i have saved this now what i can do i can get a reference there here okay so here suppose that once i press here send test okay test send so if it get success it must show that message has been successfully sent and if it get failed then it must show that the message has been failed message was not sent okay so for that we need to get a status so from here first of all that we need to get a status from um, you know here so what we can do status is equal to send a test email and once here um, now we need to apply here if else condition to this status so if status is 1 then what we can do we can say let's say the temp uh, temporary string and then we can say an email has been sent to that uh, you know email from email uh, sorry to email to email okay and then 
we can get a reference to you know that um, test email verify so self dot test email and then verify dot set text and for that we can send a temp okay and then else so here one more thing see here so an email if his status is one then email has been sent and uh, if email if, if it is not one okay let's say if it is not one then what you can say you can say that email could not be sent okay so self dot test email verify then dot set text email could not be sent okay right so now for this status we need to return something uh, from send test email that's mean from here we need to return something here so now once again what we can get here status is equal to send and then from here we can return return a status from here okay so once we return a status from here now we need to also return some status from send so from send what we can do we can either return true or false so for that we need to come here okay so if error occur then from here return false and if success occurred then return true just save it now i think everything is okay now let's see and test it one more thing what i need to do i need to also give here proper sender and the proper sender is from email and just save it okay and just uh, send to this email let's see what will happen once emails will be successfully sent it must show that here an email has been sent to narayan 1604 2015 at the rate gmail.com now let's suppose that i make something you know uh, what would you say let's let let's let's make it you know the null and let's see what will happen once i click as a null it must show some error here otherwise it cannot send an email to the null see here email could not be sent that's the perfect now congratulations now you have developed your own graphical user interface using PyQt5 and you have designed your uh, you have written a code in python to get the information from this graphical user interface and to update this graphical user interface from your python code and also you have successfully connected your this python gui and the python code to amazon ses services so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and in coming tutorial i'll be connecting these information these statistics to the amazon dynamo db and then i'll be connecting dynamo db with amazon uh, amazon um, what would you say um, I'll be connecting DynamoDB with Amazon AWS Lambda and then also I'll be connecting AWS Lambda with Amazon SNS and Amazon SQS. That means in this tutorial series, you are going to completely learn Python, PyQt5, GUI designing as well as Amazon AWS DynamoDB, Amazon AWS Lambda, Amazon SNS, SQS and SES services. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox. Bye bye. Have a nice day.